Kirstie Alley has been cremated following her death on December 5th. Us Weekly can exclusively confirm. The Cheers alum died at her home in Clearwater, Florida, according to her death certificate, which Us obtained on Thursday, December 29th. She was 71 years old. Prior to her death, the It Takes Two actress had been diagnosed with colon cancer and was receiving treatment at Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida. Allie's adult children, William True Stevenson and Lily Stevenson, whom she shared with ex-husband Parker Stevenson, announced their mother's death via the actress' Instagram account hours after her passing. We are sad to inform you that our incredible, fierce and loving mother has passed away after a battle with cancer. Only recently discovered, the December 5th social media statement read, she was surrounded by her closest family and fought with great strength, leaving us with a certainty of her never-ending joy of living and whatever adventures lie ahead. As iconic as she was on screen, she was an even more amazing mother and grandmother. William and Lily continued, our mother's zest and passion for life, her children, grandchildren, and her many animals, not to mention her eternal joy of creating, were unparalleled and leave us inspired to live life to the fullest just as she did. Parker, who was married to Ali from 1983 to 1997, shared his own heartfelt tribute to his ex in the wake of her death. Dear Kirsty, I am so grateful for our years together, and for the two incredibly beautiful children and now grandchildren that we have, the 70-year-old Baywatch alum wrote via Instagram on December 5th, alongside an old photo of the two together. You will be missed, with love, Parker. In addition to their two children, Allie and Parker shared three grandchildren. The fat actress alum previously referred to herself as Gammy in social media posts about the little ones. The Look Who's Talking star was also honored by many of her former co-stars after her passing. Allie's It Takes Two co-star Steve Guttenberg recalled her generosity of the tangible and her soulfulness in his December 6th tribute, adding, the world is a bit empty without Kirsty. John Travolta, who played opposite Allie in the Look Who's Talking film franchise, penned, Kirsty was one of the most special relationships I've ever had. Allie's Cheers co-star Ted Danson, for his part, shared a poignant anecdote with Deadline after the actress' death. I was on a plane today and did something I rarely do. I watched an old episode of Cheers. It was the episode where Tom Berenger proposes to Kirsty, who keeps saying no, even though she desperately wants to say yes. Kirsty was truly brilliant in it. The Good Place alum told the outlet, her ability to play a woman on the verge of a nervous breakdown was both moving and hysterically funny. She made me laugh 30 years ago when she shot that scene, and she made me laugh today just as hard. As I got off the plane, I heard that Kirsty had died. I am so sad and so grateful for all the times she made me laugh. I send my love to her children, as they well know, their mother had a heart of gold, I will miss her.